All right, car full of goodies, as you can see behind me, and we are headed to school. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. My name is Alicia, and this is the third video in my classroom setup series for the 2024-2025 school year. Thank you so much for watching and coming along on this journey. In this video, you're just going to see a hodgepodge of to do items that I needed to do around the classroom as far as decor is concerned. If you've been following along on my channel, you'll know that I had initially not planned to do too much, but you know, things change. So here we are. I hope that you enjoy this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. you've seen so far is that I'm doing a lot of the wall decor right now I am putting up the hand signals that my class uses they weren't grouped together initially in my classroom so I thought what a better way to have them all in one place so the kids eyes can avert there when they're looking for a specific hand signal prior to this you saw me working on that back wall where I have three makeshift bulletin boards and so I was just doing some bordering over there. And so a subscriber commented asking, are you still going to use them? Yes, I will still be using them. It's just having them all grouped together at the front of the room. The color was very glaring. So I wanted to break that up. And also I was thinking of putting my sound wall and my vowel valley in the front of the room. And so that's why I took them down. But it wasn't that I wasn't going to use them anymore. Thank you. 
I took a break from wall decor to put together this cute little chair for my whole group area that I'm going to use to do my read alouds from. Yes, the rocking chair is still in my classroom, but I decided to put that in one of my center areas for the children to use because they love it so much. So this is the chair that I will now be using for my read alouds in my whole group area. Okay, so today is Thursday, July 25th. First official day back to work. I have a lot to show you. A lot to talk about. I look a mess, oh my God, it's fine. The cricket is cutting some more headers over there in the background because now we're just kind of like tying some things in. So let me show you what I've done this morning and explain. Okay, I haven't cut master, but that's gonna say masterpieces. I don't think that I'm gonna like it doing two different fonts, but we're gonna see. This is going to be my choice board, choice board area, and I need to cut the word writing to go right there. I put the secret stories up and I separated them by color so each wall has a different color it was just to break it up because the color was so much and yeah I had these in my library last year but I like them along that wall however hot glue is not keeping them up because they fell so I need to get some more command strips this is my vowel valley. I've decided it's gonna go over there somewhere. I need to cut the letters for word work because this is my word work center. I should have done this as a small board last year because it's so much crisper and cleaner like that. I've got out my anchor charts for the first week of school. This hasn't changed. This was over there, but it didn't make any sense. So I moved it to the end. I'm thinking that's where those lap desks are gonna live. I'm trying to see how I like it. Then I put this bordering around the television, the smart board, simply because I purchased it and I didn't like the way it looked on that border. So we got it, we bought it, we gotta use it. I put our expectations over there because that's my rewards area. I haven't done this board yet. Hand signals up there. As you can see, I have all three papers up, but bordering on cinder block is a task. So that's something that I have to like separate out. Here is my camp calm down corner. I don't have all of my little cards and things done yet. I put the books in the library. I need to print their labels and then the sticker labels for the actual books. 
same thing over here, not labeled. And this hasn't changed up here. I showed you that this area hasn't changed except I got rid of the other big metal one because this needed somewhere to go. So that's that. And yeah. Excuse the cricket sounds, but I'm printing uh, my headers for these boards over here. Um, and then I don't think any of these things have anything that should be covered up, but this is everything I'm gonna work on on Monday. So this is stuff that has to go home at uh, back to school night. So I've had it all printed and I have it all set out here. Um, I did this. I don't know if I showed you this in the last clip, but I've got my headers over here and I've got that header over there. Although it looks like it's coming off the wall. Oh, cause I didn't glue it down yet. I just put a, like a little piece of tape to see how it would look. I put this back right here. I don't know if I showed that to you. I'm gonna take all of these home so they can be washed and fresh and ready to go. And so I'm working on this side of the room right now. Try to get that finished up so I can be ready for sneak a peek. Once I get those bulletin boards, I can hang these anchor charts. I'm not ready to hang those in the ceiling just yet. And I put these here for my objectives and I'm gonna leave this space for our anchor charts that we work on. Okay, I'm getting out of here. I didn't get to the anchor charts, which is okay. I forgot to put this up on the wall, but that's okay. This Vowel Valley took me a lot longer than I wanted it to, and it's not exactly straight, but pick your battles. I'm gonna leave it alone for now. Um, I do like it here though, cause it mutes some of that blue. So I think I'm going to leave it there. I just need to fix it. I need to move it more this way because there's one that goes right there that I didn't get yet. So I need to move it more this way, but that's a task for after back to school night. And that's pretty much it. Um. I don't know if I showed you over there. Let's get close. 
I put up these papers for my masterpieces wall. I will laminate them Monday after back to school night so I can put a, a clip on it. And then my early finishers choice board. I'm gonna leave I'm gonna laminate those too and put a clip on it so I can put the different choices on there. And now that I have these, I think I'm gonna put brown paper behind these just because it'll tie the whole board together. But it is 310 and I'm going to get out of here. So just to look around the room, this is where we are, classroom setup. I don't even know what day this is, y'all. Need to clean off those tables so I can go ahead and put their name tags out. And that's all the stuff I need to do Monday on that table. 